I'm in a singing mood. Hey, welcome to my channel. And to my first time viewers, do not hesitate to subscribe, like, and comment. I'm normally not this extra, but I'm feeling good. So here we go. I'm going to show y'all how I get my signature fro. You're going to need a wide tooth comb. Your favorite moisturizer, mine is Jovi Shea Beauty's uh, Shea Coconut Body Conditioner, Super Clutch. A spray bottle of water, that is water. It's just a really good bottle, so I reuse it. So I'm going to get right into it. My hair is just like in an old twist out, so I just banded it up, put a scarf on. And my hair has really gotten like exponentially more moisturized. Like that J Jovi Shea Beauty Shea Coconut Body Conditioner is hella clutch, like my favorite. So what I'm gonna do is section off the top of my hair, like the top front. I'm gonna spray that with water just to get it moisturized, but not too, not too wet. We don't want our hair to shrink up too much. And a little bit of that Shea Coconut Body Conditioner to uh, seal in that water. I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb and comb forward. This is very, very important because a lot of people say the top of their fro doesn't stand up. You have to comb it forward and you have to fluff it forward. So after I do that and detangle it, I'm just gonna twist it real quick to keep it out the way and spray the ends with water and then band it. Spray it a little bit with more water and then do the side. So I'm gonna do one side And if your hair is tangled, just be sure to finger detangle. Don't like try to force combs through it. So wetting that side, just doing the same thing that I did to the top. Added on my leave-in conditioner to seal in that moisture because that's really important. When you have a fro, you have to keep your hair moisturized because you're gonna be picking at it, patting it back down, and it's really easy for it to get brittle and dry and for there to be a lot of breakage if you do not care for your hair while it's in a fro. So the moisturizing part is a huge deal. So doing the same thing, twisting it. I'm gonna take that same scrunchie, take it off of that top part. And so I'm gonna recycle the same scrunchie because I don't want my hair to become, um, I kinda wanna leave it loose, if that makes any sense, and uh, keep it out the way at the same time. So moving on to the next section, which is the other side. And so with this section, I'm, I'm just doing the same thing. Keeping it moisturized, combing through it, adding in my Shea Coconut Body Conditioner to really lock in that moisture and that sheen as well, because it'll give your hair that, that glow, that shine, that Jovi Shea glow, if I do say so myself. Spraying the ends and then banding it. And that whole back I'm gonna do um, together because I don't want the very back too straight. With my hair, the back may get too straight and I'll end up with a shag instead of a fro and that's not what we want. So, yeah, it's gonna do that all together. Wet my hair, add in my Shea Coconut Body Conditioner, make it very moisturized and easier to detangle. And I'm finger detangling and then I just add it in my comb to comb out and really fluff and pick out my hair. Now you all see why this is not something that I do every day. I might wear my hair in a fro once a month, maybe. I might wear my hair in a fro once a month. So once I do that, I'm just gonna band it and I'm gonna undo all sections. So undo all sections. And I'm gonna keep that back braided up for a little bit, for a little while. And then I'm going to um, unband that one at the very end once I have everything going in a forward direction because that back is the only part that's going to be like going back so it's very similar to my first fro video where I'm just fluffing so you pick you pick at it a lot and then you pat it back down so you see with the fluff and because my hair was damp enough it was able to retain its shape at the very top which is a lot of people's problem so if your hair is ever too flat at the top like it's too straight and your in your fro is not standing up you just add a little bit of water. You know, if you are a black person, normally water will make your hair curl up. Um, I'm not too fond of other hair textures because, you know, I am a black woman myself. But a little bit of water will, will do the job normally to make your hair stand up if it's not chemically or heat damaged. So if you have chemical or heat damage, you're just going to have to either cut that hair off or retrain it to be able to curl. So with my hair, I had heat damage at the top. So I had to train my hair 
and um, I clipped a little bit of the ends off little by little until it got to the point where it was able to curl like the rest of my hair. So just continuing to pick at it and kind of shape it. And as soon as I get it picked out to the way that I want it, I'm gonna start patting it back down. So it's just a process of picking and then patting, picking and patting. So it might take a while. It might take kind of a while, especially if this is new to you, but you continue to maneuver, continue to pick it out and pat it down into a perfect circle. Any part that's too straight, just add water. You see, when you moisturize your hair, your fro is like a jiggly fro. You don't want a static fro that just sit there if the wind blow it look like it's a wig. You want it to, to have movement and body and moisturizing it and giving it a little bit of water will definitely help, especially if you use a dope moisturizer like the Shea Coconut Body Conditioner. So continuing to just pick at it, pat it down. And the body is really like the most, one of the most important things to let people know, to let you know that you have a healthy fro. So picking it, patting it back down, going all around. And that was not meant to rhyme. It just happened like that. I'm not that corny. <laughs> but anyway, just going in, doing the same thing. And once I feel like it's rounded enough, like it looks like a perfect sphere, or I always say that wrong, but y'all know what I mean. When it looks like it's round enough, then I'll be through. So if you do like this tutorial, do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos regularly. And you can get the details on these lovely Jovi Shea Beauty products in the description box. There's a coupon code there as well. And thank you all for watching. Love you.